Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Man, we are getting a lot of spotty showers this morning. So we have gotten six tenths of an inch of rain since I last sprayed. Y'all remember I got shut down. You see water standing here at the cornfield. Almost look like it might have rained more here. But it shut Dan down too. So today when I came in, it wasn't quite this cloudy. It was a little bit more clear, but now it's gotten more cloudy looking. Oh, we're spinning. Wow, it is wet down here, man. Anyway, I'm heading to get the bush hog because I'm definitely not going to do any spraying with the showers. However, I can do some bush hogging around some peanut fields. It actually didn't rain as much at the peanut field where we left off spraying at as it did here at the cornfield and at some of the other peanut fields. So that's why I would be able to spray some today if the showers would leave. It's dry enough to actually spray without rutting up the peanut rolls, but the showers are keeping us from going forth. So you guys, yeah, that's glass on the bush hog. Yes, that's the molding from the door of the tractor with glass in it. I was coming to the shop to put air in the tire and obviously the door was not closed good. And when I made the turn, door flew open, glass destroyed. Unbelievable. My heart aches. I am just so deeply full of sorrow right now. I'm so sorry for what has happened here. Unreal, you guys. Unreal. <sighs> boy, oh boy, this has ruined my day. This has ruined my day. Thanks be to God, though, Dan called a tractor store, John Deere, and they do have a glass, so we'll have to get it replaced. Man. So while Dan's going to get the glass, I'm getting jack loaded here. And Carnell is supposed to be coming with his truck to grab a load as well. And there's Danny heading out with the International. And off he goes. Time for me to eat some chicken salad. It's sort of humid out here today, you guys. So Carnell has made it. He's getting backed up under the spout there. I'm going to get him loaded. So the corn comes out of the grain bin through this underfloor auger, it drops into the elevator here. The elevator takes it up, up, up and away, and then it drops down the downspout into the truck over there. And off he goes. It's getting a little muddy out there. And that's Carnell's second load. And Dan has got the glass, you guys. He's starting to take things apart while I was getting them loaded over there. I'll tell you what, this right here, man. This was just ridiculous, man. I hate this happened. I really did. But I'm glad they had a glass that we can try and get it back together. All right, you guys. Carnell has made it back. Dan and I have got the door put on the 78. Thank the Lord. I'm going to take the box to the dump and we are going to try and get some peanut sprayed. Got that taken care of. On to the field we go. Alrighty you guys, we have made it. And oh man, wait a minute. Wait a minute you guys. That's quite a few beads of rain on the leaves there. Oh, I might need to tell Dan about that. I wonder if it came a little shower not too long ago. Because the wind has been blowing enough for it not to have that much rain on it. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to have to check with Dan. But anyway, I was about to say too, you guys know I sprayed the Apogee. The Apogee is the growth regulator. 
to keep it from growing so tall well right here is new growth you see how it's of a lighter color that's where <laughs> once again it's trying to start growing upward there's a lot of new growth out there all of the light colored leaves that's new growth and the darker color leaves like that right there are the older leaves but um yeah i'm gonna have to hit dan up right quick before i get started i hope he can hear me because he's gonna be down there by the uh grain elevator but i tell you what man i'm so grateful wow that we were able to get that door fixed and that it wasn't as expensive as we thought it was going to be thank the lord man my head is no longer hanging on the ground now <laughs> wow look at these i think this is a clipter but anyway let me hit dan up right quick all right so i told him about it and he said he was going to check the radar and check back with me and let me know what to do so he said to go ahead and try and get a few barrels so i'm gonna go ahead and fill up and we're gonna work on it a little bit closed good man you guys i'm telling you i will never forget this day wow 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 of course the door in here is quite a bit bigger than the door on the 78 this being a new tractor with the new style cab but man you guys man oh man we actually had to adjust the latch there on the 7810 because it wasn't closing good which I guess was part of the reason why it wasn't closed good when that joker flew open when I made that turn. But wow, I tell you what, I thank God for Dan. My boss is a good man. He's saved. And uh, I told him, <laughs> I told him, I said, hey, thank you for not cussing me out audibly. <laughs> you might have said a few words in your mind, but uh, <laughs> of course I was joking with him. But anyway, man yeah 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 okay i'll stop talking about it after a while anyway we're gonna try and get some peanuts sprayed you guys here's my last pass i see where i turned this way so somewhere down here i have to find where i stopped but i have to start and head that way spraying See the tires are glistening, but he said to go ahead. So you guys, we are going ahead. So it's about 4.07 right now. I'm on my second pass. I will check in. A little later you guys we're getting down to the last of the 60 acre field here all right you guys i have finished here in the 60 acre field about 27 minutes later i still got a little bit in the barrel to empty out and uh we will have sprayed 20 acres to keep my same pattern of spraying i gotta head to the fields that's closer to the truck and spray the rest of it out. And I'll empty this barrel in this field after probably about a round. Then I have to fill up again. With the gauge doing that, and it's not even turned on i only made one pass before it ran out so i'm ahead and fill up so i'm getting back to it i'll probably check back in when i get over to that field that's beside the beans because i want to get out and look at the beans with you guys and for myself as well all right so i just finished this field here to the right and as you can see we got the soybeans over here i'm gonna hop out right quick just to walk in them see how tall they are see if there's any worms out there oh wow 
Wow, you guys. Wow. Wow, man. Look where they're at. That's where they're at to me. You can tell that the worms were out here, though. Been eating the foliage. But, yep. Y'all remember I told you Dan said that the beans was putting some little pods on them? There they are. These jokers are tall. Wow, man. <laughs> Once again, that's where they're at. This was the very first field that I planted with the grain drill. Y'all remember it poured down rain, torrential rain. I got soaked trying to cover up the grain drill. And actually Dan had replanted out here as well. But it's clean down in here. That's the importance of them canopying. Shade out the weeds. Anyway, we'll get on back to it. I always look on my past leg to see if I see any worms. There is a little worm there and some beetles. Ah, Y'all can't ride with me. You gotta go. Get off of there, buddy. Get off. Of hey, get off. made it to this farm here on this farm I spot sprayed this patch up here there was a bunch of sickle pods out here and I guess they have sort of turned colors they still got a little bit of green in them but you can't even hardly tell where they are they're about the same color as the peanuts right now y'all remember how they usually have a light green looking color but we riding through a thick patch of them right now and I guess it stunted the growth on them. Oh, look at the deer. Look at the deer just run out over there. <laughs> I see you. Anyway, I believe that it's helped keep them from growing any bigger. Because when them jokers get super big, and you start digging, they like to drag up peanut bushes and cause a problem with it digging and sometimes inverting properly. So it's good that we got these. And so I actually just ran out. I didn't even make a full pass. Usually I run out further down there. But anyway, yeah, them sickle pods are wilted. I'm going to fill up one more time. It's what, 5.45 and that'll do it for the day. If I can get one more barrel out, that'll be 60 acres today. We didn't start until like, what was it, a late three something? So to get that much done, we done okay for the day. Wow, you guys, I've seen this from the distance. Them peanuts are pulled up, the bears. Yes, we need the long arm cut. That is obstructing my path. But wow, man. Look at this. Them jokers have been busy. Carry the bush over here. I guess they towed it some off into the woods. Got two rolls there. Started working on the third one. That's not very fresh. I can tell that it, it's rained on that right there. Now this over here is a little more fresh. 
Looked like he might have sat down on it. Matted it back down. Look, 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 look at this. Now, I don't want to meet that joker. <laughs> oh, look at this. Is that bear scat? Carried them off in the woods. There's a bush over there. Now I'm telling you, I don't want to see no bear. <laughs> I do not want to meet the bear. Just observing where it's been eating at. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna get on back to it. Well, you guys, I have run out, so that's gonna do it for the day. I'm gonna get ready and wrap this video on up while I'm heading out of this field. And uh, okay, yeah, looks like the bear have been eating more peanuts on this side of the field. <laughs> oh, y'all got a glare. You couldn't see that, could you? But anyway, oh, look at the bushes over there. <laughs> anyway, you know, I was just thinking back on how when I told Dan what happened, he really truly showed forth the fruit of the spirit temperance. <laughs> I'm going to brag on Dan at the end of this video. I was already bragging on him. But he showed forth temperance. That's a fruit of the spirit. He was quick to listen. Slow to speak and slow to anger. I mean, seriously, you guys, the whole door of the tractor was gone. The glass was broken out. I could just jump out of the tractor without opening the door. <laughs> Me looking at it, my mind was blown. But when I told him, he didn't, like I said earlier, <laughs> heart me out. He basically got on the phone, got to looking around for a door. And you know, we as believers, we have to practice temperance. We have to be slow to anger, slow to speak and quick to listen. Because anger produces works of the flesh. It doesn't produce fruit of the spirit. So we wind up saying things or doing things that we regret when we act out of anger. Now I'm not trying to justify myself or make an excuse or you know, I'm not trying to get out of <laughs> the mess that I made earlier, but I'm just saying that that was definitely a good example of temperance. And I just wanted to encourage you guys. I know that you know, there's some people who push your buttons and get under your skin but i encourage you to hey walk in the spirit let the holy spirit help you to respond according to the word of god it's hard hey it's hard i'm gonna tell you it's hard but that's why we got help from the holy spirit in the word of god so that's my encouragement for today i'm gonna tell you this day was like man this was just a bad day for me but thanks be to God, it, it's turned out to be a good day. It's turned out to be a good day. We got the glass fixed. And even me not being able to bush hog earlier, it worked out that it was too wet for Dan to pick so he can go and get the glass and I can load the trucks. And Danny could haul corn and not have to stop and load them. So I was at the shop at a good time. You know, it all worked out. You know, the Bible says all things work together for the good of them that love him and are called according to his purpose <laughs> i'm pulling out scripture everywhere out of a day that was once horrible and has totally switched up to be a good day i'm grateful i'm grateful of course there's been some charges for the glass but i'm glad that it's able to be taken care of so, hey, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on the day. Don't forget to smash the like button for us. If you enjoyed, throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. 
in the meantime, in between time, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. I said, now that I got time, I'll show you the new glass right quick. Hey, Kente. <laughs> Kente. Oh, are you so scary? <laughs> anyway, to God be the glory. It's a new glass, you guys. All right, now I'm out for sure. <laughs>